Hey everyone, uh, Brandon here at BMO. I'm here to explain Microsoft's price changing for Microsoft 365 that will go into effect on March 1st, uh, 2022. Uh, so what's happening is Microsoft is making updates to their API and uh, backend um, that delivers the Microsoft 365 solution uh, to their partners um, and customers. And uh, what that means is starting March 1st, in addition to these new APIs that you don't really see as a customer, um, there will be pricing changes. So you will have the option uh, to um, remain the same. And what that means is today, every single Microsoft customer um, by default is paying uh, month to month um, with no contract for all their Microsoft 365 subscriptions, right? Just like Netflix or, or Hulu, right? And starting March 1st, you will have the option to either uh, stay the same, stay month to month, which is the default for every Microsoft customer, or switch to a one year prepaid 12 month contract, uh, in which case the price stays the same. So what that means is if you're buying, you know, 20 licenses of business premium and you want to remain month to month, then the price uh, right will go up from 20 bucks per month per user all uh, to $22 a month per user. Um, if you switch to the one year prepaid 12 month contract, um, with Microsoft, then um, it, the price will remain the same at $20. And the prices prices aren't increasing for every single license. Uh, Microsoft uh, has enumerated uh, these licenses only, and these are for commercial, so it is not for nonprofits or EDU. Um, and in addition, you know, things like uh, everything else stays the same. So, you know, Power BI, Visio, uh, audio conferencing, all these other, you know, Microsoft add-ons uh, will remain the same. Um, at least as far as where we are aware of as Microsoft partners. Um, but for the main sort of licenses, the most popular ones um, are going to be, you know, Office 365 E3, um, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, Microsoft um, 365 Business Basic, uh, the prices of that will go up on a monthly basis. So on March 1st, you'll have to decide um, as a business of whether you want to remain month to month and pay a little bit of an increase if you are paying, if you are purchasing any of these licenses, of course, um, or switch to the one year prepaid. Um, and sort of what this will look like on um, the BMO store is, uh, this is still um, in beta, but will be root, um, um, published um, so that you will be able to make this transition, is you'll have items in here. For example, um, this one right here, Microsoft 365 is this basic that has labeled new commerce experience, you will have the option, right, to either add the uh, uh, month to cart or the annual to cart. Um, so yeah, that's um, just about everything that you need to know. Uh, more information to come.